Hi there, this is Luisa Heinzel. Welcome to my channel Junk Journal Art and welcome to this video. Today I would like to show you how I made this set of three junk journal tags. I created these for the latest release by Stampers Anonymous and Tim Holtz. And when I saw those flower stamps for the first time, I thought, okay, let's make some tags. <laughs> because flowers and tags, especially for a junk journal, go really well together, right? So let's dive into the process of making these. And perhaps you want to try some for your own junk journal. I started with three distress tags. These are made from some mixed media heavy stock, a really cool material for wet mediums. And I started spraying with some distress spray stains. This uh, first one was frayed burlap. Then here I'm going to use some vintage photo. And the last color I have chosen for this project is old paper. I think the color of the paper material is already really, really gorgeous. So I tried to find colors from my stash that match this like vanilla color of the mixed media heavy stock. Um, why don't we just use the color of the surface and include that into the whole design? So that was my thought behind that. And that's also probably why I love these tags so much, because this color fits nearly to any other color in this world. So then, after that was dry, I have taken some opaque distress texture paste and applied that through the mini stencils. There are, in this release, there are, you know, the stencils in the bigger format and in this mini size. And for these tags, I think the mini size is really, really nice so that you can get a really, yeah, the pattern is still really clear and visible and crisp. But at the same time, it's really detailed and small and, you know, <laughs> a little filigree. I, I think that's a good word for that. And uh, I did that for all of the three tags, but with different stencils so that we get the same look, but with different patterns. And this is how it looks when the whole thing is dry. I have applied the texture paste not too thick so that my tags in the end also don't get too thick. And then I have taken the stencil again after cleaning and drying it and I have lined it up with the stenciled pattern which I already have here and then I have taken some um, scorched timber distress crayon and applied that first on the bottom just by scribbling it onto the paste and then I have smeared that around with this little brush so that I can get a really really smooth blending because I want to have the color on the bottom of the tag way more intense than on the top so that I get yeah, I always forgot the word for that you know you, you can see that ah there's a word for that when the color is more intense on the bottom and gets lighter on the top, right? But I I just forgot that word. I'm so sorry. But you can see that. I, I didn't want to have the, the whole tag with the same intensity of scotched timber. But... Um, a really nice variation and also yeah perhaps this gives gives a little bit of depth and interest as well of course i did that on both of the other tags as well with both of the other stencils and then this looks like this and with this technique you get the crayon of course only to the texture paste and not to the background so that you then can still see the colors of the background then I have taken this stamp set, Abstract Florals CMS 479 from the new release, absolutely gorgeous. And I have searched in my stash for a background stamp. So this Papillon CMS 106 is an older stamp set, but I think that the background stamp in this set fits really well to the flowers from this new set. And uh, here you can see me, yeah, like trying to find the position for the flowers. I don't stamp them yet, but I want to try to imagine where they will go later so they can rest for a moment <laughs> next to my stamping platform here because I want to make the back backgrounds first for um, the flowers. And the idea is, you know, I have three new tags here and I want to place those on top of the others I've just made but only in half, you, you will see that in a second, so that I have like two layers on each of my tags. Here I'm trying a 
technique that Tim calls smudge technique. As you can see with this first layer that didn't work so well because my ink pad was a little too dry for this technique. If you want to do this, then make sure that you have a juicy ink pad, then just stamp. And then you take a dry paper towel and smear the ink around immediately after stamping. That makes that you get a really like subtle impression of the stamp. And at the same time, you can color your background and you get this like foggy look. And I think that looks really, really nice. So after some, you know, stamping, smudging, stamping, smudging, it looked like this. And in the last step, <coughs> I also added some water to my stamp to activate the oxide ink. And then I have stamped my flowers to the tags where I wanted to have them later. Don't be confused. This looks a little weird, but this is just the stamping for the position of the flowers because I want to cut half of my tags here and then layer that on top. And then later on, I'm going to add another um, stamp impression of the flower on top so that it really pops out. I have cut, um, yeah, on each tag the left of the tag yeah so that i can get you know this uh shape of the flower but only on the left so that it is like free in the air i did that for all of the three tags so that they look like this now and i really like how this stenciling in the background comes out there ha <sighs> wonderful so this number of this set is 660220 this uh, die cut set by Zizix and Tim Holtz I want to use to bring some more interest and some more yeah like floral feeling to these tags if that's possible because these flowers are of course really floral but you know I wanted to have some more details and I wanted to have the possibility that you can look through these layers meaning the top layer will later on show something of the second layer and the second layer mm, will show something of a black backing which I will add in a second so uh, that also the yeah, negative space of the die cutting gets part of the background. In some spots, mm, the contrast was not big enough in my eyes. And uh, here you can see how I darken the background a little bit. So I've just placed this layer on top and then decided where I want to have it darker. Then I've used some scorched timber distress ink and just applied that there where in my eyes the background was too light so that these little dots from the die cutting come out really really well and that we get a nice contrast to the top layer. The pieces I've just cut off I have used to put them behind the background layer so that we not only get the colors there again but at the same time a nice contrast with the background layer and that looks in my eyes really harmonious and we can use our scraps <laughs> so that we don't have um, much left over. So here you can see me gluing everything to a black layer. I wanted to have a black frame around all of the tags so that it fits really, really well to the flowers because I'm going to stamp them in really dark black in a second. And I like when the frame around, for example, a tag or a card or something like that matches the... Mm, color that you've used to stamp the focal point and that's what I'm trying to reach here. Then I've stamped these little quotes, inked them with some scorched timber distress ink and after that I have stamped the flowers to some white watercolor paper and then <clears throat> I have embossed them, <coughs> oh sorry, with some clear embossing powder that has two reasons on the one hand the black then gets really really intense I mean this is already really black after stamping it was really black but um, I wanted to have it even more black more intense glossy and when you then cut the flowers out like I've already done it here then the stem of the flowers get way more sturdy and you have a really easy drop to glue them down and especially to apply the glue to this thin stem. So if you have any like, you know, really um, delicate stems which you want to fuzzy cut, then this is perhaps a trick. Even if you don't have these flowers, perhaps you want to try that out with other stems you might have. And that gave me the possibility to line up this stamp impression of the flower really really exactly with what I already had stamped and as you perhaps can see I have cut 
this layer of the flower a little um, different than the stamping in the background is. So this top part where the center of the flower is shown, I have cut up off from the top layer so that it looks like that is more in the background and that yeah the flower perhaps also gets a little bit more depth and interest at the same time so that you also can see that it is stamped on different layers. Then I decided that I wanted to have some white frames around the little quotes. I think that fits really well to the white of the flowers and I wanted to repeat the white on this tag. By the way, if you want to know more about my makes for Stampers Anonymous, then you can also visit my blog. I have a whole blog post with all of my makes I made for this release. There are um, a total of five different ideas what you can do with the stamps and stencils of the new release. The link is down below in the description box. And in the description box, you can also find my Tim Holtz makes playlist so that you can also watch other makes I made for Tim. And also for the other brands like, you know, Ideology and Zizix and Ranger and so on. So, um, yeah, after I had um, attached the black paper, I had to make some new holes because, you know, they were closed with the black paper. And I have also cut the top layer a little smaller on the top, the right and the bottom to make sure that we can see a little bit of the background layer around the top layer. First, I thought I want to have the top layer exactly the same like the other one. But then when I saw it, I thought, no, it's better when we can see like, you know, a whole frame of the tag around the whole thing. Does that make sense? Hopefully. But <clears throat> please do what you like. And if you want to leave both layers in the same size, of course, you could do that as well, I think. It's it's also nice. So uh, I also inked the edges of the top layer a little bit to make it also a little bit more interesting. And then I glued everything together. And it was really helpful to have this hole there on the top because that I could use to line up the top layer with the bottom layer really well. That was a really good uh, orientation. And uh, I also added some white fabric through these little holes there on the top uh, you can see that in a second uh, that was just a leftover from a pillowcase and I've just fiddled that through the holes and I also made some splatters mm, the first round of splattering <laughs> I, I did with some scorched timber crayon mixed with some water to get the color mm, that I also have on the stenciling to the background and in this diagonal line, you know, the it's the stenciling is on the bottom left and the splatters are on the top right now so that we get this cool line uh, and a connection as well, of course. And then I um, have added some splatters, splatters with white acrylic paint mixed with water to also get a connection to the white we have on the tag and to make this top area also a little bit more interesting and more detailed. Here you can see these little finishing touches. Um, I've used, yeah, as I said, just a little piece of a pillowcase, <laughs> really fluffy material. And then I went in <clears throat> with a really thin black pen to intensify these little dots of the flowers a little bit with the oxide ink that got a little lost, you know, um, it was not so visible anymore, a little bit too grayish in my eyes. But now they pop out really, really nice, I think. And yeah, that's it. That are my three little tags. I hope you like them. And I'm really, really interested what you think about these. And yeah, perhaps you want to try this out. Perhaps you want to try it with exactly these stamps or other stamps. Let me know what you think. And have a very, very creative day. See you the next time. And be happy with what you have on your desk. That is very important. <laughs> See you.